what's up welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here what's up hello I'm Joan if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and trusting me to entertain you you've already seen today's title and obviously I have not begun um, first of all my voice is gone because I lost it on New Year's um, screaming I always scream I'm a, I'm a loud person but there was music playing so I was screaming over the music and then of course and, and two my throat was still healing from COVID so yelling was probably not the best option but anyways if you didn't know I got over the coronavirus uh I got out of quarantine the beginning of the week of Christmas so we're good now I feel fine but I do have like a really crappy voice I look really pale in this lighting it's totally fine though because we're about to do a full-on makeover and I thought that I would take you guys on this little journey with me I didn't really have a New Year's resolution except to feel better about myself. I didn't have a goal weight. I didn't have a diet plan. Not for the year. Like, it's not something, I didn't have anything. All I want to do is feel better about myself. Be a better, better version. And I think that's probably still pretty generic with the New Year. But whatever. Anyways, so I've decided to do kind of a makeover. So here I am at... This is my nasty. I wanted to come to you guys with, I'm literally, my voice is hoarse. I look really pale. I have no makeup on. I really need to touch up my eyebrows. Um, my hair is frizzy. I've let it air dry straight out of the bath. Like you're seeing me at my full like gross self. I mean, besides the fact that I've had a shower. I don't smell bad, but I just look terrible. Um, so I wanted to start off the video this way so that you guys could see the beginning of the whole process and I thought it would be fun to do just kind of like a mini makeover not something like surgery or anything but a fun little mini makeover and just like do something different to feel better about myself so <laughs> Day one is going to be tomorrow. I'm getting something done to my hair. So I will check back in with you guys when my hair is done tomorrow. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys. I did it. <laughs> oh, I did it. So this is step one in the makeover process. This looks like really black, but it's actually the number two the darkest brown um i didn't want to deposit black back on my hair in case i ever decided to go light again but i'm back this is like me normal this is what i usually am um i haven't been dark headed in over a year so it feels good to be back in action so next step is hair extensions and a self tan and then makeup so we'll see first as i do whichever comes first the hair extensions or the self tan i'll hop back on so that you can see like the kind of the individual process and then at the end of the video i'll show a side by side video of before and after i mean does anyone else look like this post self tan like really nasty dirty I have a few breakouts it's kind of sticking to I know I'm the one of few people that put self tanner on my face I'm fully aware that number one it's terrible for your face but I feel weird having the pale face to body also second I'm aware that my Christmas tree is still up I'm working on it priority y'all please let me update you on what has happened okay so I went to go um I did my self tanner and I did the one that's like the B tan from Walmart. It's like the um, tan AF, and it was like the darkest one. And you can you can wear that for only an hour to get the tan you need. One hour will give you a tan, and then you can like wear it for like four plus hours for maximum tan. So I'm one hour in, and I had told the girl that does my nails, if you have any openings, please let me know. If you have anybody, cancel because your girl wants in. So, um, she had somebody cancel. I had put on a self tanner at 1130 and she texted me at 12 and said, I had somebody cancel. Oh, I'm not in focus. I don't know why. Sorry. She's like, I had somebody cancel. Um, would you like to come at two? 
and I want my I wanted my nails redone so bad because that's also part of this whole thing. Um, so I took that appointment and just went ahead and took a shower after an hour of having it on. Um, I'll probably redo it probably Monday because Tuesday my extensions are supposed to be here. So that's the big thing. I'm gonna redo myself tanner and be a lot tanner. I look really pale in this lighting, but the the um, tanner actually did do a little bit, but just not a lot. But I did get my nails redone, so these are looking super snazzy. I got this straight square with um, the bubble bath polish. Really, really love this set. But anyways, um, I'll also plug Kelsey, my nail girl. She's so good at nails, and she actually has a YouTube channel. So I'm going to plug her information down below, her YouTube channel, her Instagram, all the good things. Go check her out. Um, even if you aren't local to me, her Instagram is really fun to follow because she posts the really cute um, nails so you can get some inspo. Um, but anyways, so again, my extensions will be here next week, next Tuesday. Today is Saturday, so Tuesday my extensions will be here and so I will put those in. I'll have my self-tanner done after I do my second round of self tanner i'll check back in with you guys again and then my extensions get here i will show you guys the extensions before i put them in tell you about them put them in and then we'll see the full on makeover okay so update extensions are in i had them straight and they looked fine um you can see my little but I wanted to try to curl them and I didn't put any product in them because I was like, what if I don't like the curl? So they're not like holding curl the best. Like I'm trying to show you guys. Hold on. Hold on. They're not like holding curl the best, but it really just might be the fact that I didn't put any product in them. Like I literally didn't put anything in them and this is what they look like. This, they're so so pretty they're super pretty extensions and they're thick um i might even have to buy me another pack i don't know um my hair's really thick but you see this little twig moment here like i said i didn't separate my hair i didn't cur i did not do it the proper way i was kind of in a hurry but um these are the euro next extensions from sally's um they're super like i've tried a few hair extensions especially the clipping ones and they're super um like feel very i mean they're real hair but they feel very natural i've gotten the real hair extensions before and i got a, a much cheaper pack and <clears throat> they were um like shot way shinier than like my natural hair it's weird looking at myself with longer hair these curls are falling, but I kind of want them to. I don't want them to be tight curls. You can't really see the look of the curl that well because my hair is like a dark. Um, but anyways, it's very weird looking at myself like this. But anyways, they feel just like my natural hair. The other extensions that I had like were very shiny. I got them from like this. I don't really know what what you would even call them but it's like a beauty store um but they were only like the pack it was a small pack and the and the pack was only like 60 bucks maybe and i only got one pack and i have thick hair so i mean i really think i could probably use another pack of these just because my hair is really thick and i can i know places that i probably could have plugged a few more in that would make them blend better i also think i'm gonna go to the girl that does my hair and just get her to add a few layers into these so that my pieces blend a little bit better and maybe even trim this a little bit because this is i mean a bit long i didn't really want 18 inch but in these extensions they only had 14 or 18 in this color i don't know if in the other colors they didn't but anyways if you're wondering i got the color espresso in the euro next extensions and this pack was like a hundred and like 50 or 60 dollars i think but anyways it came with like 10 total pieces of clip-ins and then it came with extra clip-ins if you wanted to add your own clips or whatever but anyways it came with plenty um i just think i could probably use another probably half pack and i'm sure i'll invest in one but it's fun to wear these for now plus again like i didn't put a whole lot of effort into the blending and the curling and all that 
really just to see how it would do so like I already know things that I could do to make them wear and blend better but overall like they're they're so much better than the last ones I got um but overall it doesn't look that bad so what I'm gonna do now oh I also did you cannot tell in this lighting maybe on my arm a little bit but I also did do self tanner again um like I said, I can tell in person and I can tell on my own neck, but like my neck in the mirror and my neck on camera is like two different colors. Um, I think it's just the, the light completely washing me out. But anyways, what I'm going to do now is go throw on some makeup and um, see what this full transformation looks like. And then I will post a like side by side transformation and see like do we like the before better? We like the after better. Sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera. I'm like seeing like if I move my hair around like is it going to look blended or or what. But also if you have like tips on wearing clip-ins and getting them to like look a certain way. I am so down for that. So if you just want to go ahead and throw those tips my way in the comments. I would love them. I'll be back after I get on some makeup. Well, y'all here it is I mean I didn't play anymore with my hair I mean I probably should have um I am gonna play around with it more because I really do like these extensions um but this is it I turned in my lighting ring just a little bit so that you can get more of the effect of what loose curls are left and the self tanner that I swear was here it looks like I'm naked, but I have on this, but anyway, here is like the full makeover and I'm going to insert, I'm going to scoot over this way and then I'm going to insert the video of my before and y'all let me know what do you like better. <sighs> okay, so that's my makeover. That's what I did. I uploaded it to TikTok. Um, like I did a little TikTok for it. So if you're here from TikTok to see what my makeover was, now you see. So, anyways, I'm going to close out today's video. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to, the, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. And leave in the comments down below, again, any tips that you have for my extensions. Because, like, my hair stops here, as you guys saw. And then these are 18 inch extensions. Do you think it would like help blend better if I cut them to like right here? And so then the pieces that did fall out, they look more like layers. Like you think I should do that? Do you think I just have them too long? Y'all let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching. I love you guys so much.